Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a nice weekend. Yesterday, President Trump announced uh, the death of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS. Subsequently, the Washington Post came out with an article uh, alerting us to the fact that uh, the ISIS leader was dead. Here's the exact original title, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, austere religious scholar at the helm of Islamic State, dies at 48. I then decided to satirize this truly unbelievable bias, right? I mean, think about alerting the world about the death of a immeasurably evil and diabolical person by referring to him as an austere religious scholar. So, true to form, I went off with what has now become known as hashtag WAPO death notices. WAPO refers to Washington Post. So I began with the following. Austrian lover of dogs, Adolf Hitler, dies in noble suicide. Hashtag WAPO death notices. Then moved on to clown party animal and lover of children, John Wayne Gacy, viciously killed by U.S. government. Hashtag WAPO death notices. And then the one I think that got the most play, it was covered in various venues. Culinary specialist <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer killed by fellow tourists at an all-inclusive vacation. Hashtag WAPO death notices. And then finally, later that evening, meaning last night, I ended it with the following. Sculptor and body designer Vlad the Impaler tragically dies during a live performance. Hashtag WAPO death notices. It is truly unimaginable that even when it comes to someone so unambiguously detestable, evil, grotesque as the leader of ISIS. Progressives are unable to muster up the necessary honesty to report the facts as they should be reported, but rather they start off by softening the blow. And then only when there is global outcry and mocking do they subsequently change the title. Truth exists irrespective of your tribal partisanship. Belong to the tribe of truth, not to any political, religious, ethnic, or racial tribe. Have a good week, everybody. Cheers.